Hello, my name is Ray. I was care for my father Paddy for the best part of eight years. Something that crept up on me. It's never a career option that I planned for. <coughs> but uh, the situation just deteriorated and developed and uh, one day I looked around and I was a full-time carer. Eventually. And when we did get the correct support, it made a huge difference to our ability to look after him until close to his death. Oh, maxed out on um, carer hours. I ended up um, with help to get him up in the morning and get him dressed, help to change him in the afternoon because he was incontinent, and help to put him to bed in the evening. And um, that was seven days a week, and with a, a lot of pushing and shoving, I got respite two or three times a year um, to sort of take a break for myself. Hugely, hugely. I, I'd say the, there's a, a lot of research done already on care of burnout, and there's the there is the sheer difficulty of their day-to-day -day tasks of looking after the person. Um, unfortunately, as a carer, as you're the person you're caring for, their world becomes smaller. Your world can become smaller too. Mm -hmm. And um, having people coming in to help you or having places to go and sort of expand your world a little bit is a huge, huge assistance. Here in the city at least I have some sort of other resources, daycare centres and stuff like that, but um, out in more rural locations people have nothing, no support whatsoever. Uh, they've nowhere to go, they mightn't even drive a car, there's no public transport. You know, they need help. It's time to deliver on dementia and it's time to end this crisis.